Okay, what is up guys? If you're watching this video, number one, either you're trying to figure out how to make a 3D image in Scratch, or you uh, clicked one of my links or annotations. Now, this is a model created by a guy, I believe his name is pronounced Joe Harris. Not positive though. Um, but anyway, when you press start, an interesting thing happens. You can see that the block is turning and it's making a 3D simulation, which is pretty cool. Honestly, I haven't seen anything like this in Scratch. Be the uh, the first time. And so, um, anyways, the main problem with this guy's tutorial video, specifically for me, is because it's in a different language. Now, I don't really understand that language. Therefore, I made a translation video. So. I'll take you through steps on how to get everything. It's actually pretty simple and pretty easy. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this and we're going to start completely new. Okay, what you want to do is you want to delete the cat because we won't need them at all. Then we're going to go to make a new sprite. Just make a plain black box or square. That's all you want to do. You can, you can call it whatever you want. I'll just call it box. Now you want to go to costumes and you want to copy it three times. Go to costume number two. And this will be, I guess, the little buttons or whatnot. So grab a circle and you want to do a halfway in the square, halfway sticking out. And then do another one right here. And press OK. Then you want to go over to this one, and I'm going to make it a, I guess a bright colored orange. Now it's time to put in all the code. You're going to put in when the flag is clicked, and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put a forever loop. Now we're going to go to motion. And we're going to place, um, we're going to place go to 0x and 0y right in the beginning. Okay, once you have the 0x and the 0y in there, uh, we're going to go to Lux and you want to pull out, switch to costume. You want to duplicate this about uh, three times to where you have a total of three. Switch this one to one, two, and obviously three. Now we're going to go to pen, and you want to get clear. And you want to take our first costume here, so switch to costume one, and you want to place it somewhere to this. Now we're going to pull out the stamp. And we're going to go to motion and we're going to get a change Y. Now change this to a 1 and place it under stamp. Now you want to duplicate this enough to where you have, um, I would say do it about to where you have about 8. So you have eight stamps and eight changed by Y. Now place that in there. And then you're going to set place two. So change the costume two. Then you wanna take this and you wanna duplicate it. And then duplicate again. Put this back where it belongs. Place it under costume two. Then you wanna take costume three. Place it right here. Now that we're almost done, we're going to add just a, a couple more. So drag this out. Just duplicate. Place that under here. Get the original one. Place it back where it belongs. Place it all in there. And we're going to put on the finishing touches. Pull out two if statements. Then you want to go to sensing. You want to go out when the key is pressed. We will switch this to A and D. 
or if you prefer it, it can be left arrow key and right arrow key. It's whatever you want. Now we're going to go back to motion, and you want to get the uh, turning degrees. And you want to turn. You want to get the uh, turning 15 degrees to the left. Put that in A. And we're going to switch that to five. Sorry, five. Do the same to this. Put it in D. Change it to five. This one needs to be going right. This one needs to be going left. There we go. Now, hopefully, when we run this, it might be a bit glitchy, but uh, it might work. Okay. And there we go. That's really all you need to do. You have successfully created a 3D engine. Now, if you want, I really encourage you guys to actually mess around with this a lot, because... I really want to see a 3D game in Scratch actually made. I mean, it'd be something really neat to see. But for now, we're just going to have to stick with these uh, simulations. Alright, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, once again, this video is not uh, so much as trying to copy to get views, but as a translation so people can understand. Because I know that it is uh, hard to read another language you've never seen before, especially if it's Dutch, German, or French. So, thanks for watching. Um, annotations to the other videos at the end of this video. If you want, please like and subscribe. I also appreciate that if you click the favorite button. So, thanks for watching.